Hi everybody, Kevin of Cobalt Glass and Custom Works. I just received my uh, Taurus 3 ring saw here, a Gemini saw. Um, I got a little too excited and opened the box here. Um, but uh, nothing was assembled other than the motor was kind of sitting here in the box and the grid was on top in there, so really nothing too exciting. Um, there's supposed to be a price increase apparently, so I thought I better get on board and get one here before you can't afford them. Um, this one here, we decided we're going to get one for the shop here and uh, see how it works. I have the, uh, the Griffin bandsaw and I love it. It's a great little machine. Um, but I thought this one here I would try because you can you cut in all directions where the bandsaw you can only go uh, one direction. Um, so please read and follow all the instructions. The manual comes here it was tucked up in the side over here folded like that um, get familiar with the manual um, there also comes with a DVD here so you can watch the DVD as well um, always wear your safety equipment always wear your safety goggles uh, if you're sensitive to sound wear your hearing protection uh, wear dust masks whenever there's dust um, using powder Fritz, enamels, uh, cleaning out your kiln, that sort of thing. Um, rubber gloves when you're uh, touching chemicals, solder, flux, and, and uh, patinas, all that sort of stuff. Um, anyways, let's uh, kind of see what we got here. Um, comes with the motor and the bathtub here. Um, we have to take this off the side. Um, a little thumb turn screw here. And then uh, what we do is we just take this off and we keep this somewhere safe because if you ever take this out, um, you can take the saw out and actually use it as a wet saw. So what we'll do is we'll take this and we'll put this off to the side. Thumb turn we can put back in here. Um, you can also, if you want, you put it in a bag or whatever and keep it to the side. I would probably recommend putting some anti-seize lubricant on the threads of the thumb turn so that uh, if any water happens to get on there it doesn't cause any rusting um, and then this will just snap into here like so our dvd our instruction manual um, also comes with a, a little face shield here your warranty card and some hole reducers so this uh, our deck will slide on to here and put this set in there. There we go. So this will slide on, kind of like a grinder surface. Um, snaps in. Don't run it dry. Always have water in the machine. And then, uh, if you can, before you put, like when you put the water in, try and turn the blade just to kind of get it lubricated a bit. Uh, the whole reducers go around. Uh, the belt or sorry the uh, the blade and then that way uh, it helps reduce the size of the hole so uh, pieces aren't falling in and jamming things up uh, a little face shield here there's a couple holes on the side and uh, snaps in there I won't turn it on yet because I have no water in there and it says in the book to uh, make sure that you run it with water um, there's supposed to be an led light in here the face shield flips up there's actually a foot stabilizer here so that it helps stabilize the the blade from wandering around um, so i just wanted to show everybody kind of what comes in the box and uh we'll get it get some water in it get it fired up um, and we'll do another video here we'll we'll test it out and then as we go along when we need to change the belt or any of the pulleys or gears, uh, we'll do a quick little video on maintenance and, uh, and we'll go from there. But make sure you put this in a safe place. And uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please let us know. Take care. Happy New Year.